So in this episode of the series, we're going to dive into investing in relationships and the invisible ROI. Before we get started, don't forget that this episode is sponsored by the Luke's Days Academy and iPrac. If you haven't checked out those websites, the links is in the description. So what do I mean by ROI that is invisible? Well, basically, these are the things that you cannot really assign a specific value to in terms of monetary value, but you can actually make huge, huge leaps and bounds in your business by investing your time and effort into them. So for me, it is things like traveling in a higher class. I know it might sound daft, but if you pay to be in, say, business or first class when you're traveling, you're likely to meet people who are high net worths, who can open networks and doors for you, and it is worth the investment of the flight ticket to potentially sit around those people. Now, it doesn't just go as simple as I buy a ticket and I get a network of high net worths. Obviously, when you're in that environment, you have to put yourself out there. You've got to open conversations. You've got to let people know what you're doing, and you've got to try and facilitate some form of communication channels, and then follow up, build that trust that we always talk about, and nurture those relationships. There's many other examples of this where you can get around people by either paying or just traveling or being in certain locations. Go to better gyms. You can uh, attend network meetings, not free ones. The ones that people are paying for are more than likely going to have better pools of people that will suit your business better and help you accelerate your results. Investing in other people, giving your time, giving your value with nothing expected in return is a huge, huge element to your business. And one thing that I discovered probably not too late because obviously I'm still going, but at the beginning, I always thought I want something back for what I'm giving. Now I am very much in the mindset of I will give everything out for free, a bit like this series, a bit like a lot of the content on my channel, which delivers awesome content. And if people actually use it, they will move their business forward. Now, many entrepreneurs might actually charge for this information, but by me just giving it out for free, I have found that I get so much back in return without any expectations. Naturally, I might not get a lot back that I could, but I find that the more I'm tempted to give out for free, the more value I'm offering to other people, the more it is helping my reputation, what we do, putting us on a pedestal as being an expert. People can see that we understand what we're talking about. And that in itself provides a result in a different area within the business, which helps the business expand overall. So don't be afraid to help other people. The more you help others, the more they will want to help you back. And that is where the relationship game comes in. And if you speak to anybody that has you know, tick the million or billion pound box in, in business, they will tell you that they discovered the relationship game too late. So whilst you have the chance, invest time and energy into your relationships. It's no different to your relationships at home. You have to invest time and energy into them to be able to make them successful. Business is exactly the same. And there's a lot of effort goes in without any financial return back. But what you will see is that your network will expand and you will start picking up business in other areas because of an investment in a certain relationship or with a certain person. You know, if you just opened your phone book and just started speaking to 10 to 20 people on a regular basis, just checking in, how are you doing, how's the family, how's work, and just constantly nurturing those relationships, I guarantee you will see results in your business from just doing that by asking the right questions. Naturally, people are going to want to know what you're up to, how you're doing, and then there will be that conversation of, you know, how can I help you? What, what can I bring to your network? You know, I have just, you know, I'm on the verge of going to Miami at the end of the week to open the business there. So I've just started reaching out to a few people that I've already had relationships building with over the years, never transacted any business with them. Could you could you connect me up with so-and-so? Can you put me in touch with them? And then, you know, more than happy to do that because we've built the trust together. We've already worked together in some capacity or we've just formed a bond and a friendship and a relationship over the years that they can trust me to refer me to somebody that will help me, you know, get going out there. And that's exactly why you need to be investing in your relationship game and not thinking about the financial ROI that you get back from that effort. You just have to put the effort in, in the right places, in the right networks. And I guarantee you, this will help you get your business to over a million pounds. As always, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. It all really helps. And any comments you have or any questions you have, please just drop them in the comments box. 
IPRAC, Luke Stays Academy, check them out and I'll see you on the next episode.